welcome friends myself shaptapurni from biolive hope all of you are doing very well today we are going to learn about two important terms about from zoology or genetics penetrance and expressivity okay these two terms penetrance and expressivity may seem very confusing to you but i will guarantee you that after watching this video the concept of penetrance and expressivity will be crystal clear to you so without further delay let's begin before beginning if you are new to my channel i would like to request you to kindly subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell button given below and don't forget to subscribe it to all okay so that uh, whenever i will uh, publish any video you can get the notification at the earliest and if you like the video don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and if you have any doubts uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment below in the comment section and you may also follow me in my facebook page facebook group or in my instagram profile so without further delay let's begin see what is penetrance penetrance is the percentage or frequency of individuals in a population with a given genotype who express the phenotype associated with that particular genotype okay what does that mean that means let's explain it with an example say there is a population of six uh, organism okay and all the six organism have same phenotype same genotype capital b small b okay all of them have same genotype and capital b is responsible for the uh, for the expression of blue color okay so according to our knowledge we know that if uh, heterozygous dominant condition is present then all the individuals who have the uh, this genotype capital b small b will show the blue color but here you can see that only three of the six are showing the blue color and uh, other three are not showing the blue color so here though the genotype though all of them have the same genotype only some of them are showing the associated phenotype that means the blue color and some of them are not showing that phenotype okay so here the penetrance level is 3 out of 6 that means 50% okay so here penetrance means how many individuals of a population whose genotypes are similar whose genotypes are same actually same but uh, among them how uh, how many of them are showing the associated phenotype okay that is the penetrance level okay so that means uh, uh, at which level uh, or uh, what is the number uh of penetration of the genotype in the population okay for showing its phenotype okay so a good example uh, of human in human is brachydactyly brachydactyly is a autosomal dominant disease which uh, but its penetrance level is 50 to 80% okay in brachydactyly you can see uh some kind of malformed short fingers in human beings okay and it is as it is a autosomal dominant disease that means if the dominant allele single copy of dominant allele is present it can show the disease but as it is only 50 to 80% penetrant that means as it is not 100% penetrant that is why though if you have the dominant allele you may not show the disease okay if it is 100% penetrant then if you have the dominant allele definitely you will show the disease but as it is 50 to 80% penetrant then uh, you may show the disease or you may not show the disease so why does this penetrance occur okay what is responsible for this see uh, there can be some kind of genetic cause like uh, epistasis or presence of some kind of modifiers or repressors in your uh, 
near your genes okay which uh, which is inhibiting your genes to be expressed and to form the uh, associated protein needed for the uh, uh, phenotype to be expressed okay or it may be due to the environmental factors too okay so uh, there are two types of penetrance one is complete penetrance and another one is incomplete penetrance what is complete penetrance complete penetrance means when all the individuals of a population okay who are having the same genotype are showing all of them are showing their associated phenotype that means here all of the six okay six out of six uh, all of them are having the same genotype capital b small b and all of them are showing the blue phenotype okay that is that means the population is completely penetrated by the a phenotype associated with that particular genotype okay the example is alleles in mendel's experiment you can uh, see that in mendel's experiment uh, the homozygous dominant okay that means capital t capital t all of them are showing the tall plants capital and heterozygous dominant capital t small t all of them are showing tall plants and uh, all of the homozygous recessive small t small t are showing dwarf plant not like this if there are six individuals of small t small t and among them only four are showing dwarfness and two are not if there is six individuals of small t small t all of them will show the dwarfness that is the complete penetrance or 100% penetrance complete penetrance means 100% penetrance okay now coming to the incomplete penetrance incomplete penetrance means when in a population let's say there are six individuals and all of them having the same genotype capital b small b and capital b is the allele responsible for the blue colored phenotype but only some of them of the population are showing the associated phenotype with that genotype here you can see that among six only three are showing the associated phenotype so it is the incomplete penetrance that means the phenotype associated with that genotype can have not penetrated the uh, population fully okay that is why it is known as incomplete penetrance here the penetrance level is 50% or 3 out of 6 okay and two good example of uh, incomplete penetrance in human being is polydactyly that means presence of um, more than five fingers in your feet or in your uh, uh, hand okay and brachydactyly the example already I have discussed okay now coming to the next term expressivity what is expressivity expressivity is the degree okay it is the degree to which a penetrant allele or genotype is phenotypically expressed in an individual see here in this population six of the all the individuals have same phenotype capital b small b okay and capital b is responsible for the uh, sorry all of them have same genotype capital b small b and capital b is uh, responsible for the uh, character uh, for the exhibition of blue colored phenotype but among the six individuals you can see only five of them are showing the phenotype okay associated with the genotype these five are showing the associated phenotype with the capital b small b genotype but here something interesting which is that these five these five are known as penetrant individuals but these five are not showing the similar degree of phenotype okay there is a variation in their expression of phenotype two of them are showing deep blue color one is showing medium blue color and two is showing lightest blue color so there is five of them are showing the phenotype okay but there is a difference or in the degree or there is a variance in the degree to which the penetrant allele is being expressed or uh, there is a difference in their phenotypes to be expressed okay and this phenomenon is known as expressivity okay now 
expressivity can be of two types. Number one is constant expressivity and number two is variable expressivity. What is constant expressivity? Constant expressivity means when in a population all the penetrant individual will show the similar degree, same degree of expression. Okay, all the penetrant, here two terms are important. That is, all the penetrant individual will show same degree of expression of the particular phenotype. Okay, see here, six individuals are present in this population. All have the same genotype, capital B, small b, and all of them are showing the similar same degree of phenotype same color of blue okay as all of them are showing the pheno phenotype associated with capital b small b that is why it is known as complete penetrance 100 percent penetrance and as all of them have the same kind of blue color that is why it is constant expressivity same degree of expression of phenotype okay now what is variable expressivity when uh, in your population, the penetrant individual will show different degree of expression of the particular phenotype. Then that will be known as variable expressivity. See here, osteogenesis imperfecta is an example of complete penetrance with variable expressivity. Complete penetrance means all the individual of the population will show their associated phenotype. See here, all the six individuals are showing blue color, but there is a difference in their blue color. Okay, two of them are showing the um, deep blue color, three of them are showing the lighter blue color, and one is showing the medium blue color. So it is their phenotypes are varying. That is why it is known as variable expressivity. Okay, and why complete penetrance? Because all of them are showing the blue color. Uh, in osteogenesis imperfecta, which is an autosomal dominant disease, we can see 100% penetrance. That means if you have, you have the dominant allele responsible for the osteogenesis imperfecta, definitely you will develop the disease. But the uh, expression of the disease can be different. You may have the uh, bluish colored scler sclera or you may be deaf or you may have fragile bones or you may have any combination of these three characteristics okay so your uh, expression of disease or the expression of di disease phenotype can be different that is why it is known as variable expressivity now coming to the incomplete penetrance with variable expressivity Income here only difference is not all the individuals of this population are showing the disease phenotype. Only four. These four are showing the disease phenotype. Okay. Among the six individuals. That is why it is incompletely penetrant. Okay. Incompletely penetrant. And among the four penetrant individuals, you can find the variable expression level. Okay. One is... Uh, deep blue two are lighter blue and one is medium blue that is why there is a variable variation in the expression level of the phenotype and the example is neurofibromatosis okay it is also an autosomal dominant disease but here the penetrance level is 50 to 80 percent that means if you have the dominant allele responsible for the disease you may develop the disease or may not develop the disease okay because it is 50 to 80 percent not 100 percent penetrant okay and uh, for the variable expressivity, you may uh, develop light, uh, mild kind of uh, disease uh, characteristics like a uh, few patches, uh, pigmented patches on your skin or severe kind of disease, okay, like uh, uh, big tumors or uh, other related uh, characteristics of the disease, okay, at the same time. So, this is all about uh, penetrance and expressivity. I hope you have got all this concept clear. Okay, now. And so, uh, for the time being, thanks for watching and happy learning.